Hi, I'm Jordan Eaton, and I'm here today in a, well, a cemetery. Though this isn't just any ordinary cemetery. This is Ross Bay Cemetery of beautiful Victoria, BC. A city with a ton of history waiting to be discovered by visitors such as you and I. I hope you'll join me on this very thrilling journey back in time. In this very cemetery rest thousands of individuals who have helped shape our province of BC. People such as Billy Barker of Barkerville, Emily Carr, a world-renowned artist, and James Douglas of the HPC. One individual that I'll be focusing on who has helped shape our law is Sir Matthew Bailey Begbie. Sir Begbie was a man of great knowledge when it had anything to do with law, which is why he came over from his hometown of Britain in 1853. Even coming from my home of Vancouver to Vancouver Island on a ferry seems like a while, but imagine coming all the way from Britain, especially back then, that would have taken months. At least the scenery is beautiful on the way there, especially at 6 in the morning. He was soon to become the first Chief Justice of BC, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. started in buildings like these ones, buildings such as the Court of BC and Parliament buildings where the very first laws of BC were made. Matthew was a huge part of this process since he was the one and only person in BC who had gone to schools like Cambridge to be a barrister or lawyer in court. Although he was a great politician, Begbie also had a very strong connection with the First Nations people, Chinese immigrants, and the mining communities throughout BC. He always seemed to take the side of the little man, bringing to perspective one of the very first ideas that the First Nations held land rights and that they are valuable individuals in our society. In around 1860, he started a cycle for the next 10 years of his life where he would spend the fall and winter months on lower parts of the Fraser River and New Westminster. And then in warmer spring and summer months, he would spend more time up the river in places like Lillooet. Life for Begbie carried on like this right up until the time he was pronounced Chief Justice of BC. He resided in Victoria permanently until the end of his days. On June 11th, 1894, Sir Matthew Bailey Begbie passed away of stomach cancer. Begbie left a legacy of a great court system even we use and refer to today an understanding of First Nations culture and the beautiful province I live in today. That was just one of many individuals in this cemetery that have really shaped our province. Imagine all of the other stories that could be told. Again, I'm Jordan Eaton here in Ross Bay Cemetery and I hope that you can learn just as much as I have about the history of Victoria and BC.